to level up your renders with this trick. Hey, my name is Josh. I do 3D and effects. I'm going to teach you how I made these floating dust particles in my render. It's going to be a quick one, so let's get started. Before we get into the video, if you didn't know, we have a Patreon where we share all the raw, uncut tutorials and sharing everything we know. So if you're interested, go check out the link in the description below. Back to the video. First, you're going to have your scene laid out, then spawn in a cube. Scale it to your scene, go to Object Properties, scroll down to Viewport Display, press on Textured, and select Wire. This is so we can see what we're working on inside our scene. With our cube selected, go to Particle Properties and add a particle system. We want to change the emitter to Hair, select Advance. Under Source, select Faces, then Volume. Now our hair should be growing on the inside of our cube instead of the outside. Now let's add an isosphere without pressing anything. Go down to subdivisions, change this from two to one. Now we can move our isosphere to the side, scale it down a little bit. Let's add a material. And for now, let's make the emission white and set the emission strength to 0.5. And this is gonna be our dust. Now with our cube selected, let's scroll down to render, select path and change it to object. We're gonna select the eyedropper and select our isosphere. Now we've got dust in our scene, it's not quite what we want, but let's tweak it a little bit. Let's reduce the emission number to 500. We'll scroll all the way down to fill weight and put gravity to zero. Set the scale to 0.02. Let's go into render mode and see how it looks. Our scene is all dark and that's because our cube isn't transparent. So let's add a material, delete the principal BSDF, and let's add a transparent BSDF. Connect that into the surface and there we go. Let's select the cube, go to object properties. Now let's just animate the position of our cube. We'll just keyframe the cube, which will make the dust look like it is floating around. Now let's select our keyframes in our timeline. Select both your keyframes, right click, press handle type and vector. This just makes our cube move at a consistent speed. Now I'm gonna tweak my dust to match my scene. I'm gonna change the emission to 0.02 and let's change the base color to match the dirt in our scene. And we'll set the subsurface scattering color to a lighter color of your dirt color. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Yes, I know it was a super short video, but I know someone out there would have got something from it. And that's all that matters. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And please leave us some comments on what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later.